Yes. Yes. E betelelio bara sigadanto ske pelevi satas. Manana na mana masa gadabaya gadabaya gabara badabaya. Oh Lord, I give you praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Bara ba Agada bara ba 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 and then, 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 what you are what king of kings lord of lords Ayana na ba na ba ya na ba ya na ba ya na na ba do. Holy, O Lord, You are holy, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are holy. Holy. Lord, you are holy, King of kings, Lord of lords, Alhamdulillah, Almighty God, King of Kings. Oh, mighty God, I worship you. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord in worship this day. Go ahead and just exalt the name of the Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Come into his presence with worship. Let your worship arise and rise indeed uh, as a sweet savour, as a sweet incense unto your God and your maker. Love him this moment and just give him praise. Just worship him. King of kings, Lord of lords. King of kings, Lord of lords, 
King of kings, mighty God, I worship you. Oh, holy, yeah, Lord, you are holy. Oh, King of kings, mighty God, you are holy. Oh, Lord, worthy. Sing you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Thou art worthy, thou art worthy, oh. Lord, oh, 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 Lord, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, oh, O oh Lord, O oh, O oh, O oh, O oh, O oh, 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 Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord in thanksgiving. Go ahead and just worship the Lord. The Lord your God is holy. The Lord your God is worthy. Give him praise this moment. Worship him. He is El Shaddai. He is El Gibo. Adabarume Shosia Vataga Dabashka. Elohim is his name. Menene Sokovra Dwade Ashaya. The one who loved us and gave himself for us. Go ahead and bless his name. Inananananamanosheke Barakadoshe Pelai. We worship you. Thank you for who you are. You who made the heavens your canvas upon which you paint things. Ai nekete zata. Hayat. Labineso, you made the at your footstool, you are God all by yourself. Merede sate kaba. I worship you, King of Kings. He who tells the wind when to come from and when to go. Odeyeke pa shante balade asaya. You are the one who tells the sun where to hide until it is morning. What a mighty God thou art! You that set the earth on its axis. Ayata manasaya hite penese. You that made the universe to go in the way it goes. Thank you, Lord, for man is still studying to understand the dynamics of the things you have made. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We come before your presence this day with worship, with adoration, with shouts of praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have worshipped. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Receive our praise. Receive our worship. Receive the sacrifice of our lips. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have worshipped. Hallelujah to Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah to Jesus, my God. I welcome you to another time of prayer. Hallelujah. I welcome you to the very altar of prayer, the altar of covenant prayer. What is covenant prayer? Covenant prayer is that prayer that you agree. It's more like an agreement. It's a covenant thing. What is covenant? Covenant is agreement. Praise God. You agree with God to meet with him at a certain time for a certain duration. Yes. And it becomes an agreement. And then you meet with God and discuss with him concerning matters. And he, on the other end of the of the of the of the transaction of the covenant will do according as he has said and what did he say we should pray pray the prophecies of your time pray that the things that i have said 
concerning your life will become reality. Engage prophecies of your time. For prophecies are hanging, yes, over your life, over your destiny, over your generation, over your time. Pray, engage these prophecies because until men engage them, they will not become reality. And that is why we are here to pray, child of God. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming out every time to come to pray. And I want you to know that God will visit with you. Again, I would like to announce, like I do every day we come here, that testimonies are flowing already. People are already recording testimonies of the prayers we are praying here. People are already thanking God. The prayer request that some persons wrote out for the year, God have already started answering some of them. Yes, yes, yes. It's just 36, 30, 30, six, yes, 36 days into the year. God is already visiting with people. And I know that you are the next to testify. Hallelujah to Jesus. Welcome to the place of prayer. And I want to urge you once again, don't come here alone. Please invite someone, invite your friend, invite your family member. Share this page. Share it. Like it. Share it. Invite a friend. Invite someone that you know needs divine intervention. Yes, because even as much as we engage prophecy for the nations, we engage prophecies for our generation. We must, we also do engage prophecy concerning our lives. We also do engage concerning our heart desires. Therefore, please invite someone and let us pray. Because if there is a people to pray, there is God to answer. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you for joining me in this hour of prayer today. Today is the 35th day, 35, 35th hour out of the 364 hours of covenant prayer that God is demanded of us. Therefore, I will share with us briefly, like I always do uh, uh, from the scriptures. Today we are we are praying prophecy. Today we will pray prophecy. Today we will pray prophecy. We will pray that which has been said, that you know, and the Lord will lead us to pray. That there are a number of prophecies of our time that we need to pray. Uh, but as much as time will permit us today, we will deal with, and then uh, we'll come back tomorrow same time turn your bibles with me very quickly uh, to matthew chapter 24 matthew chapter 24 is so profound matthew chapter 24 is a profound scripture yes in five minutes i'll be done here hallelujah five minutes from now matthew chapter 24 is very is very key because these were the words of jesus himself hallelujah concerning concerning the end time amen the prophecies of our time we can see them all spoken about uh, 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 by Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 24. Look at Matthew 24 and we'll read just verse 3. Verse 3, praise God. And Jesus, as Jesus was sitting on Mount of Olives, as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately uh, uh, and they asked him a question. And what was the question they said to Jesus? Tell us. They said, when will these things happen? There were some things Jesus have said earlier. And what was that? Jesus spoke about the destruction of the temple. Yes, he spoke about the destruction of the temple in the verse before that. Jesus said that this temple that you see today, no stone will be left upon one another. That came to pass in AD 70. Hallelujah. When the Roman Empire invaded Jerusalem, that which Jesus said in chapter 24 and verse 2 came to pass, became reality. Hallelujah. So in chapter, in verse 3, they came to him privately and said, these things that you have said about the temple, tell us when will this happen? And what will be, that's question number two, what will be the sign of your coming? And then question number three, and the sign of the end of this age. Praise God. Tell us what will be the signs. What are the things we are going to see for which to know that the end of time 
and the end of this age, the sign of your coming, praise God. And Jesus began to speak. If you read further, I don't want to read further for time's sake. Jesus began to speak and to say prophecy. Now, what is prophecy? Prophecy is that which is been declared by God through his servant that will come to pass in time. Yes, that which is declared in time, a spoken word that will come to pass in time. Now, prophecies can be spoken, prophecies can be written, praise the Lord. And there are a number of written prophecies. There are also a number of spoken prophecies that have been prophesied. Now, the Bible made me to understand that men must therefore rise up to engage that in the place of prayer. For God said, bring your strong reasons. Yes, prophecy is the strong reason. You can say to God, God, you said this in your word. Therefore, bring it to pass in my time, in my life. They came to Jesus and they asked, what will be the sign? And Jesus began to say some things that will be the signs of the end time, the signs of our time. Prophecies, Jesus began to dish out prophecies of our era, of the times that we live in, of which some of them we have seen come to pass, praise God. But again, most of them call for prayer. And today we will pray. Today we will engage heaven and we will begin to discuss these matters with God because this generation is our generation and we must stand in the gap for our generation. Open your mouth therefore right now and ask the Holy Spirit to help you in the place of prayer. Ask the Spirit of God to help you. Ask the Spirit of God to help you pray today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We come asking for grace for prayer. We come asking you to enable us, oh God, in the place of prayer today. Holy Spirit of God, take a prayer position. Go ahead and begin to ask the Spirit of God to help you today to pray. Thank you, Father. We come, O oh Lord, asking for grace. We come asking for grace. Ask for grace. Prayer can be difficult if it is not prayed in the Spirit. Prayer can be tasking. Oh, yes. Prayer can be boring. Yes. If the Spirit of God does not take over. Yes, it is when the Spirit of God takes over that prayer becomes an enjoyable, you begin to enjoy it. You don't feel like stopping when the Spirit takes over. Ask the Spirit to help you pray today. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We will begin today's prayer with the prophecies. What is that which have been spoken concerning your life? Do you know it? What are those things that you have read in the scriptures as prophecies concerning your life, your destiny? Begin to pray them now. Begin to say to the Lord, this you have spoken concerning me. This you have said concerning me. This you have said concerning me. Therefore, Lord, bring them to pass. Therefore, Lord, let them become reality in my life. Let my life be it out. Let it become my daily a, a, a reality. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You will come into those things that God has designed for your life and for your destiny. Can you please begin to pray? Begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Begin to demand that the written scriptures, the written promises of God, the written prophecies of God, the spoken prophecies over your life, any that you can remember right now, begin to call them to become in your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. That which you know that God have said to you concerning your going out and your coming in, my God, concerning your life and your destiny, that which you must enjoy, that which you must come into in this hour. Open your mouth and go ahead, go ahead and begin to pray them. Go ahead and begin to tell the Lord, bring to pass in my life. Is it in your marriage? Is it a promise concerning what you must enjoy, what you must come into? Can you begin to tell God right now, my Father, let it be. I hear begin to pray. My father, let it be in my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray.
Yes, the prophecies over your life. Yeko meno sete parada. Igragadeke te pele de beye. Egoshko marasiete lit. Na sangam tumde sheketush kapalava. Idredeke teke te berete pe lete pe. Itakama shuto. Brede sunenaida. Aditaka. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Eko lete pe kete pe te peye. Ebere de beye gede de be de beye gedi. Ikrono shoto balas. Sia faradash ne sandi katante i de bere de bele de beye eto parashi e feletushka i koporo no bolo bokoro no boye kete bele de bede eno menesio paravada ye my father Timothy was told yes and we are told the same in the book of First Timothy chapter number four and verse number fourteen yes 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 it's a scripture you need to pray he said do not neglect the gifts of God upon your life the prophetic message which have come upon you do not neglect them. And you begin to pray them as prayer. Yes, even the same Timothy was told, by reason of the prophecies that have gone ahead of you, that you may war a good warfare. Begin to pray and say, Oh God, let it be in my life. Let the word of God over my life. Life. Let the word of God over my destiny anchor on me in the name of Jesus. For these are the days of their fulfillment. These are the days of their coming to pass. Let them become my reality in the name of Jesus. That which is written concerning my life, my God. Begin to call it to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. That which is written concerning Son in my life, ayata manama shande pakarada bada elo predo kopolo koporo in the book of Psalm one hundred and thirty nine. Yes, one hundred and thirty nine. And in verse number sixteen, the Bible said, "All the days ordained for me were written in your books. All the days ordained for me were written in your books. Everything about me that is written, oh God, may nothing hinder them from coming to pass." All that is written concerning my life, uh, let them become my reality. Yea, he said in the book of Psalm 40, Lo, I come to do according as it is written concerning me in your books. Uh, open your mouth and pray according as the writings are, according as the Lord had determined for my life, so will it go. Begin to enforce the will of God. Begin to enforce the word of God upon your situation, upon your life, in the name of Jesus. Ye kata parado shete la haya ide de 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 yakete pekaruba ubredo besata vati e bado som befeli dritasa ikiote sheke barakatu shupele devene eni ana na 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 ba da yaga ba da ba ka ita parada ba ka re yaga da ba di yaga da ba dash pati e vesente leto meno som bele de gede ele bre yaga da da ba di e bere de gede gede yata in the name of Jesus thank you Father thank you Lord again we've been told by God that in this year our lives will move from glory to glory you are going to engage that promise of god you are going to say oh god everything about me will move let there be a shift from glory to glory shall my life know from glory to glory shall my destiny know from glory to glory shall my endeavors know from glory to glory shall my career know from glory to glory shall everything concerning me know yes let it happen let it be so in my life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. From glory to glory. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. 
proto supele vita i get de 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 yetepe e pelune to sependio masangia kiata e tina nasite vele peretia i groko poroboro bono soto pele nebe e lebre ya gane gane be dia do bere nebe kusa adepe begin to pray it will become my reality in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, ta shate bata. Ike miana shito bras. Atine de, ege de, ege de. From glory to glory. From glory to glory, Lord. Is na seto be vesiati kaba ruska beleve. E drono boto koboro kopoko tos. Yata tata yada barabada bayagada dabada. From glory to glory. E ne siyo pete kete. I paradiso pelene venkondo shita. I diete te 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 yasa. Agragabatika parabadia paradabalia teke. So se te veno me sukom de beti katabada. I bleteke pere de belia da barada ba kuria ga barada ba da adi de 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 ye kete pete de ke pete te i borono bo koti a bashante bele de belina anga di a baraga da from glory to glory from glory to glory Lord in ezeke te ye ge bakatusa a barada ba kati a ga baraga da da i kaparada ba ya ga di a te my life will know glory on every side in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree it my life will know glory on every side in the name of Jesus. My life will know glory on every side. I tata tata pa and me kusha kaparavi la tu yete se e petu de priyaga do shoko porodo. My life will know glory. Hey na 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 kata yaga da gada ite pele de be yaga da gada be de e pre yaga da gada gada be di yaga borogo no borogo. My life will know glory from glory to glory. I've been declared for me asante yate ye pere de pete ye kaperodo o beleve to pere yaga diga ba. From glory to glory, in the 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 yekete, a borono boshite la bana ba yaga da bana, in the bere da yekete ya bede vize. In the name of Jesus, in omne shute palaba kuria ga bara da ba ya, in the bele da bede bede vede ke bete, in kupara da shinto bele ne menesi over. A day day yati yati yada da ba shande, a peti na ga baduza. In the name of Jesus, yes, He has said concerning us in this season, even in this month, we shall know expansion and growth. Growth, expansion and growth. Can you prophesy that over your life? Expansion and growth. Yes, expansion and growth shall be. He said, break forth to the left, break forth to the right, break forth. Ayata parabada. There shall be a breaking forth uh, everywhere, in every corner, in every department of my life. Can you pray that prayer? There shall be a breaking forth in the name of Jesus. I break forth to the left and I break forth to the right. I break forth to the left and I break forth to the right. Expansion, expansion in the name of Jesus. Growth and expansion. I will grow spiritually. Everything about me will grow. There will be a reasonable appreciation by the end of this month. Begin to decree and declare, oh month of February, deliver unto me growth and expansion in my place of work at Data Paraba, in capacity at Duepe Tesaka, begin to pray growth and expansion is what my life will know Hanana Shaka can you decree and declare it engage prophecy today growth and expansion in the name of Jesus Adam de Shatan te palakia ilope te para agroko boko te yege de vete peketia igogo bonde ya valaba igragadagade yege de gede ita antem te peshuta palavi odro de shiga growth and expansion anamani te 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 yete ebelefereke pekete I will grow and I will expand. And tata ita pavasa, I will break forth to the left and I will break forth to the right. And that I take a benekete, I will break forth on every side. In Zansanda no teshaka, I gabiri e de bere de be ya vele de be de, e kuriya ga be de be ya ga de de be de, i parada ba ya ga de de be de, a paruda valo de be kuriya de de be de ya, a pandom de se te ve de de kum te shakata ali. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, in the book of Micah chapter 6 and then verse 1. The Bible said, contend with the mountains. Yes, yes, yes. Make your case uh, before the mountains. Yes, Micah chapter 6 uh, and then verse 1. Yes, thus saith the Lord, the Bible said, lie. listen to what the Lord, stand up, plead your case before the mountains. Let the hills hear what you have to say. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, hear, O oh mountain. The Lord has an accusation against you. Speak to the mountains. Uh, what is that mountain standing before 
before you this day as a challenge can you address that mountain now jesus said you said to this mountain be cast away from hither to yonder and it will obey who are that mountain that will stand before zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain say at the word of the lord open your mouth and begin to speak address that mountain what is the mountain before you right now what is the mountain before your life what is the challenge what is that mountain that is standing can you speak to it to the part speak to that mountain right now in the name of jesus madam speak to that mountain in the name of jesus speak to that mountain in your place of work speak to that mountain speak to that challenge in the name of jesus speak to that mountain right now contend with that mountain in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, be made plain, be made plain, be made plain in the name of Jesus. Be made plain at the Barabada Kuyaka Patia Kovasha. Be made plain in the name of Jesus. Be made plain in the name of Jesus. Yeah, at a pateva sataya. Begin to pray for divine direction. Ask the Lord to guide you. Ask the Lord to guide you, my God. In this season, you need divine direction. Can we pray? He said, You will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk the arena. Oh Lord, I receive divine direction. I receive divine guidance in the name of Jesus can you pray pray and say God I receive divine direction concerning every matter concerning every matter I receive divine direction begin to demand that that cloud of confusion be the part the part let that cloud of confusion dissipate right now concerning that decision you have to make in the name of Jesus receive direction receive direction pray for insight pray and say God, I receive divine guidance. I receive divine direction in the name of Jesus. My part shined brighter and brighter until the full day. My part shined brighter and brighter. Yes, Lord, and the shone minutes from the Pakati wisdom shall guide me wisdom shall guide me wisdom shall guide me i have understanding and i have discretion in the name of jesus breathe on me holy spirit can you pray that prayer ask the spirit of god to breathe on you ask the spirit of god to brood over your life over you to incubate over you can you pray that prayer Breathe on me, Spirit of Grace. Uh, breathe on me, Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, brood over me, my God. Uh, da, 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 bara, bara. Brood over me and do a walk. Uh, brood over me and do a quick walk. That here peto shete palavika. A breke shuneto sente yatie hevetu shaple de veneple. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. You are going to talk to God concerning your prayer request. Uh, yes, you are going to bring your matters before God right now what is that thing that you want the lord to do for you in this year 2024 open your mouth and begin to tell the lord begin to tell god what it is begin to bring your issues tell the lord concerning this matter i need your hand to be made manifest i need your hand to be revealed in this matter in the name of jesus open your mouth and talk to god my god Zantilare te tioshi kabash, patie veru se peri, lope no mane, ateida ivaga, zanto bele de kriosada, ipiti vosata, atone shimanum felebente, my god, ibede, atio peri safa, iklutek leketeve, e dromezito parabadi vatia barada, e kute tele de yete tete, e menevedebe de yadi batia bada, ipekude beketio porongo bede pele periavada, in the name of Jesus Christ, we 
we have prayed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Huh? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, yes, Jesus said in Matthew 24, hallelujah to Jesus. He said in Matthew 24, verse 4 and verse 5, what did Jesus say? We are engaging prophecies of our time. Hallelujah to Jesus. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 4 and verse 5, what did he say? He said, watch out that no one deceives you. That's verse four. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Christ and will deceive many. This is the prophecy of our time. The rise of false prophets. Now, the truth is that you can't stop it. There is nothing that will stop it. It must be because it is one of the signs. It is one of the prophecies of our time. False prophets will rise. They will be on the increase. They will be everywhere. Yes, and we are seeing it come to pass that there are false prophets everywhere. But what did Jesus say we should do? Jesus said, watch, watch so that you are not deceived watch so that you are not deceived that is what the word of god said you should do watch so that you are not deceived today you are going to pray and say oh god help me to be watchful let my spiritual antenna be high in these times and season oh god help us to be watchful he said be watchful so you are not deceived you are not deceived by the activities of false prophets yes pray for yourself and say help my spiritual antenna oh god yay help me to be watchful help me to be watchful my god can you pray help me to be watchful and pray for the spirit of discernment if there is any gift you need now it is the gift of discernment a discerning heart to discern the activity of false prophets yes the internet the social media have made it easy for everybody oh yes everybody is now a preacher everybody is now saying all kind of things people are not even doubting the things that the scripture said some are coming out with all kind of revelations pray that you are not deceived pray that you are not carried away pray that you are not deceived in this time can you pray that prayer and say, God, help me. Keep me, preserve me. Can you pray against deception? Pray against deception. Pray that you are not deceived. Pray that God will grant you discernment. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Oh, Lord, help my soul. Help me to be watchful. In this season, help me my children, oh God, yeah, grant us a discerning heart. The gift of discernment, we pray, that you release upon the church, release upon the gift of discernment, release upon us, oh God. Oh God. The Bible said many shall be deceived. Many shall be deceived. They will deceive many. Pray that you will not be among that many. Pray to God to help you. I will not be among the deceived. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, help me to shine the light, my God. God, in this generation, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Yes, in Matthew chapter 26, 
Thank you, Father. And in verse 41, Jesus said in chapter 26 and verse 41 of Matthew, Jesus was speaking. Yes, what did he say? He said in verse 41, he said, Ayata parabalaka pakatuya peredebede. Yes, 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 yes. The Bible said, watch and pray. Yes, yes, yes. That was the word of Jesus. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak watch and pray watch and pray watch and pray can you ask God for grace to pray for grace to pray for grace to pray in this season in the name of Jesus ask God for grace he said watch and pray watch and pray so that you are not deceived watch and pray the spirit is willing but the body is weak watch and pray pray for the grace to pray ask the Lord to enable you in the place of prayer you will not be faint hearted you will not faint you will not be weak to pray in this season in the name of Jesus we will not get so busy that we cannot pray I will not get so busy that we cannot pray ah, pray for discipline pray for God to grant you the discipline of prayer the discipline of prayer pray and say God help my soul help my body and quicken me quicken the church unto prayer can we pray that prayer and say God quicken the church unto prayer prayer. Quicken the church unto prayer. Quicken me, O God. We shall not be lazy to pray. Quicken me, O God. Revive my prayer altar. Can you pray that prayer? Fan my prayer altar to flame. Hey, Place your call of fire upon my altar of prayer. I will arise to pray. I will arise to pray. O God, God give me grace. Strengthen me to pray. Strengthen me to pray. Strengthen me to pray. Oh God, Abu Tata. Para Iko Barabata Sietekeli. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. In Matthew chapter 24 and verse number 12. In Matthew 24 and verse number 12, Jesus said, Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of many will wax cold. Because iniquity shall increase, the love of many shall wax cold. They shall be falling away because iniquity will increase. We have seen the increase of iniquity in our time. We want to pray to Jesus. We want to say, God, help me, help my brother, help my sister not to fall away, not to be a victim in these days of the rise of iniquity in the name of Jesus. Yet we will not fall away. Uphold us my God. Give us grace to stand in the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. We will shine the light in our time in the name of Jesus. My father Shikata, Vleperu da Shuku Belede de Gede, in the Brea Kadiba Duba Dio Perede de Saka, Yalobe de Naita, Avadiba dia Parabada, Acomte Sine to Ledo Brete Vansiata, a dear to Melo Cobriega de Gede, a Lubritefes at Tubara Dabada, a Libe Dumeno, of the Tom de Sakatia Davat, Zaina Dada Bile to Be, a Bluteke du Becuria. Help me, my father. Give me grace, give me grace, give me grace, I pray. Give me grace to follow you. Give me grace, O God, to stand in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Matthew chapter 24, if you read verse 7 and in verse and verse 8, Jesus was speaking. What did Jesus say? He said, nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdom. Yes, there will be famine and earthquakes in various places. Hallelujah to Jesus. That was the word of Jesus, that there will be difficult times. Economies of nations will be shaking. There will be difficult times. Pray for grace. 
pray for grace that God will strengthen your faith in these seasons, that God will strengthen your faith in this end time. Pray that your faith will find an anchor on God. Pray that your faith, you will be unmovable, unshakable in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that your persuasions about God will be strong and solid in this season. Pray in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to strengthen you, my God. You will not run after that strange gospel in the seasons in the name of Jesus. Pray and engage prophecy. Ayada biluka luete eti over shada paraba kati yaga bede bede. Yes, Lord. Amama banda baya. Amama banda baya da bada. Ipakuri ada shaka ti balika paragadi. Feli opere di sote kamte ushigada. Leble leble de be leble leble de ya be levele ya. Ide ti yaka da bakuri ya shante kabara da bade ya ba. Lefre de bidiko shaka pata pa yika paraba de ya parada shi. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Hear me, child of God. One of the things that the devil is attacking in this season is the family. Is the family. Is the family. Yes, that is one of the things the devil is attacking in these seasons. Yes, because the family is God's model to run the earth. The family is God's model. And the devil, once the devil comes, captures the family, once the devil distorts the family in a society, the society is gone. Because every society is made up of family units. Yes, people from different families. That is what make up a society. We want to pray that God will restore families in some part of the world. Yes, ex is my ex. Someone can marry one husband, one wife, two and then divorce and marry another, divorce and marry another, divorce and marry another, and all of that. Family is distorted in society today. Family is distorted in some parts of the world. And that is why the devil is having a free ride in those areas of the world. Can we pray and say, God, heal families? Can we say, God, heal families around the world? Heal families in nations. Oh God, heal families in the name of Jesus. Heal families, oh God. Yete paraba. Every attack on families. Can we wage war against the devil? Can we wage war against the powers of darkness? In the name of Jesus. Every attack against families. Can we pray and say, God, visit families. Visit families and bring healing. Can we pray? In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Can we also pray for our children? Pray for our children that the vices of our time, the vices of their time will not corrupt them, will not have them. The devil will not have our children. Yes, open your mouth and begin to pray. The Bible said they will be taught of the Lord and Peace, great shall be their peace. Open your mouth and pray for our children. In the name of Jesus, the devil will not have them. We pray for our children, oh God. Not still In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Can we pray and say, God? Restore the voice of the church. Restore, give the church a voice. Restore the voice of the church in the nations of the world. In Africa, in Nigeria, in Namibia, in Zambia, in Uganda, everywhere. In America, restore the voice of the church. The Bible said that the church will march forward and the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Can we pray and say, God, give the church a voice. Yeah, Adaminita, in this end times, uh, give the church the voice that it requires. Yeah, to make the impact that it needs to make in our generation. Give the church a voice. Restore the voice of the church. Oh God, oh God, we pray that the voice of the church in America be restored, that the voice of the church in Asia be restored, that the voice of the church in Europe be restored, 
restored that the voice of the church will be stronger than ever in a strengthen the church oh god my father my father we pray for a visitation visit the church and strengthen his voice restore the voice of the church oh god i pray in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. My God, there have been a redefinition of family in our time. A redefinition of love in our time. Oh yes, uh, it is Valentine's season. Yes, and love have been redefined. Yes, love have been redefined to mean you can love anything and love anybody. Anybody can love anybody. Anybody can love anything. Love is love. Oh yes, that is the definition, the new definition that is being given to love. That love is love. You can love anything. You can actually fall in love with your television and marry your television. Oh, yes. You can fall in love with your dog and marry your dog. Oh, yes. You can fall in love with anybody the same gender with you and marry. Love is love. You can love anybody. There is a redefinition. Oh, yes. Family is being redefined today. Family is redefined. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Things are meant to be members of family. That and you wonder in some parts of the world, can we please pray and say, Oh God, Ayata para, we come against this agenda of the devil. It's an agenda of hell in the end time. Yekumana kaba, can we come against this agenda of redefinitions? Of redefinitions. People are redefining things now. People are redefining so many things in our time and in our generation. Can we pray? It is an agenda of the devil. Can we come against the demon that is bringing a redefinition in the mind of men? Wrap in their minds up to believe in nonsense. Yes, people now believe all kind of shit. Believe all kind of things. Yes, that is what we have in the world today. Child of God, can we pray? It is our generation we are praying. This generation must be saved. This generation will know the power of God like never before. Let us contend with the gates of hell that is giving men a new definition of things. Open your mouth and pray. Come against these redefinitions. Come against this agenda of the enemy to take hold of the mind of men, giving people strange concepts of matters. Begin to pray. We come against every satanic agenda. We come against every demon that is out there. Yellow men to give men a different definition from what God have defined things to be. God have set the boundaries that must be set. Men are redefining the boundaries. Can we pray? Some things are normal in some society today. The devil is moving faster. In cartoons, cartoons, simple things that children should enjoy. Uh, people are putting things. Uh, the read definitions that they have made concerning matters to make our children to believe that these things are normal that this is now the definition of this when it is not open your mouth and pray come against the satanic agenda to take hold of our children's mind to take hold of the mind of this generation open your mouth and pray come against this agenda of the enemy let the light of God shine in the midst of the darkness. Let the light of God shine in the midst of the darkness. Somebody pray. In this generation, in our time. God will reign in our time. We will know revival and we will see it move. We will see the power of God, my God. Come against this agenda.
agenda, come against this agenda of hell, to redefine things, to redefine things, my God, the definition that God has given to things, people are redefining it, the devil is redefining it, open your mouth and pray, and men are buying into it, the people of the world are buying into these redefinitions, open your mouth and pray, come against this agenda of hell, in the name of Jesus, our generation must be saved, Somebody pray. Niena naya, niena naya daha. Anko sheketi ya libada, evye sita parada bakuti yegede, e ploto koporono boko di agadada, rabadi ya balada badi yedede dede bede, yede bedi yedede dede dede bedi, e gabri yegede gede 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 bede, a itabaduma no shakada bakimini yoko tubeketi, fakuda bakari yegede yekere gede, e lo pedo satama shande, e mgyono shandi satata, i pele pere de kuti ya gaduma shote felene, e brodo shoto posha, begin to come against the spirit of rebellion, the spirit of rebellion that is at work in this generation, my God, open your mouth and bind that demon that make men rebellious against the word of God. Oh, they shut up the shit in Psalm 78 and verse number 8. The Bible said, begin to come against the spirit of rebellion. Hey, Yatoshe, he said they would not be like their forefathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation whose heart were not loyal to God, whose spirit uh, were not faithful to God. Can we pray against the spirit of rebellion at work in this generation? The spirit of rebellion, open your mouth and bind that demon. The spirit of rebellion, the spirit of rebellion, Begin to pray against the redefinitions. Asanti na kumaku yakata idaba ala idege dege dege yege dege 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 dege. Opere debe yaga duba du yobri yege dege dege bina. Alo pray yaga daga daba di yada bada bada. Adre debe shekete badi sofeto bedo entio mene kata yaga daga da. We bind you, you spirit of rebellion. We bind you, you spirit of rebellion. Lose your grip from this generation. In the name of Jesus, Yaswata para. Let the light of God shine. Can you begin to pray? Let the light of God shine. Demand that the light of God will shine in the hearts of men. That there will be genuine repentance in the name of Jesus. Let there be revival. Let the Lord throw in the sickle and begin to salvage and save souls in our time in the name of Jesus. Let the miraculous burst free. Let there be revival. Let the power of God invade the land. Invade the nations in the name of Jesus. Invade the society. Invade families. Hayana begin to pray Lord we want to see your power move we want to see you do great and mighty things oh God we pray for revival can you pray an outpouring of your spirit an outpouring of your spirit upon men and upon us oh god pour out your spirit Niene kushantin doshka, pafietu shketi pele krana shandis, shinite yatie, e biolo prada kapakatushi fedeya, ivete baradi oshente kadadaditi yata, esulini vansam dam shukiti, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32, the Bible said, and they that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. They that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Can you pray? and say, God, I want to know you. I want to be strong. I want to do exploit. Pray that prayer. Oh Lord, I want to know you. I want to be strong and I want to do exploit that I may know you and the power 
power of your resurrection. Oh God, draw me closer, pull me in. Trust me with your power, anoint me, oh God, afresh. That we will be workers of miracles, carriers of your presence. Carriers of your presence, yeah, manifesting your glory to our generation. My God, send revival, send rain of your spirit, send rain of your presence upon us, upon the church. Oh God, let the prophecies of our time become reality in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you glory. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord, my God. The Lord is visiting someone with a visitation. Thank you, Jesus. There is a visitation of abundance coming to someone under the sound of my voice. Yes, 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 yes. A great and effectual door is being opened for someone under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Jesus. Provision comment. Provision comment to someone under the sound of my voice. Yes, yes, yes. Provision comment to you. Thank you, Jesus. God is healing someone this moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. I feel the healing anointing. It's moving now. It's flowing in the direction of someone. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for that healing, my God. Yadabarababa, check yourself. The Lord, I've just healed someone. Check yourself. The Lord, I've just healed someone under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for provision. Thank you. Give him glory. Give him all the praise. Thank him, my God. Someone's promotion is at the door. Your promotion is at the door. Someone's lifting is happening now. Thank you, Jesus. A testimony is coming before the end of this month. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There shall be a manifestation. Give him all the glory. My God, my God. The burden of death is being lifted from the shoulder of someone under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord had run ahead of someone. Thank you, Jesus. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. God is good. Thank him right now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you for joining me to pray. Thank you very much. I, 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 I don't take it lightly that you come here every day to join me to pray. Please be here tomorrow same time and we will be engaging heaven concerning the prophecies of our time. Invite someone, share this page with someone and let us pray. For when there are a people to pray, there is God to answer. Shalom.